Hello everyone and welcome to the December 4th, 2016 edition of the Astrology News Report. I'm your intrepid host, Ron Berger. In this segment, we'll take a look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions, what's on the celestial agenda for December 4th to December 11th and beyond. The big change this week comes at the end of the week, on Sunday, December 11th, when Mars changes signs, leaving Capricorn and entering Aquarius. This puts the planet of action, aggression, attack, victory, in the sign of community participation, the sign of social revolution. On the face of it, this doesn't sound like such a bad thing. The planet of action and strategy in the sign of progressive humanitarian acts sounds appropriate for the season of joyful giving and so forth. Mars gets reinforcement from Saturn, the ruler of Aquarius, because Saturn is in Mars's sign Scorpio, forming a Parivartana Yoga, between the two planets. In other words, the two planets are in each other's signs. This combination means that these two naturally malefic planets are compelled to interact with each other. Problem is, Mars and Saturn are not mutually compatible. Mars is the planet of action and fast results. Saturn is the planet of delay and resistance. So, their being forced into a mutual relationship is problematic. The best that could be hoped for is Mars's action being influenced by Saturn's experience, which could give us mature action. But, this arrangement is also in what's called a square pattern in other words, at 90 degrees to each other, which introduces more tension and stress. So, the path towards those Aquarian humanitarian actions is not going to be all that smooth. And then there's another pattern that emerges and becomes more of an issue as we head towards the end of the month. While in Aquarius, Mars will be joining up with K2 and Neptune. K2 and Neptune have been in Aquarius all this year and are, at this time, just a few degrees apart in the middle of the sign. K2, one of the eclipse points, is the mysterious significator of the unseen world. As such, K2 represents the spiritual realm which is considered to be, then, something ideal. The flip side of this is that K2 creates dissatisfaction with the status quo. Neptune is the planet of dreams and fantasies. So, it's easy to see that these two together, especially in the socially oriented sign of Aquarius, breeds fantasies of social idealism and certainly the past year has seen many examples of this. Now add Mars to this mix. The planet of aggression, action, impatience teams up with the significator of past karma, the unseen world, and sometimes chaos. Mars conjunct K2 has a reputation as a rather incendiary energy pattern with the potential to cause the worst sorts of destruction. This can manifest in the world of humans or the world of a nature. The exact conjunction of Mars and K2 will be on December 25th and 26th. Mars, the planet of action, aggression, and violence, next bumps into Neptune, the irrational planet of dreams, suspicion, mysteries, and confusion. This doesn't sound good at all, and remember, K2 is only a few degrees away and therefore still contributing its energy to the mix. Mars combined with Neptune adds up to ill-conceived actions, 
unintended results, and, at worst, irrational violence. The exact conjunction of Mars and Neptune will be as we exit 2016 on December 31st. The gist of all this is that the last weeks of 2016 and the beginning of 2017 have a rather tense, ominous, and potentially dangerous astrological energy pattern, which will likely cause some unsettling event that could disturb the cheer of the holiday season. Sorry for that downer forecast. Next week, I'll go through the zodiac and explain how the Mars K2 Neptune conjunction will affect each rising sign chart. Thanks for visiting astrologynewsreport.com. I'll be posting updates during the week on Twitter at Astro News Report.